Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Corner here. And this is our last day here in Tokyo. And today, we are here in Harajuku. Harajuku, Harajuku, Harajuku. I guess it's official now. We are here in Harajuku, where we are going to do some last minute purchases. And look at this, boys. Look at that bear. We got down at Omotesando Station and we used the Ginza state, uh, the Ginza line. And then you just have to walk and you will start seeing these things. And this is the insides of Harajuku. But before we start everything here in Harajuku, I just have three realizations during our trip here in Tokyo. This experience might be different from what you've experienced and what you are going to experience because everything that I'm going to share to you is based on ours. Number one, people are genuinely helpful here. So if you get lost, you can easily ask someone or somebody will go to you and tell you on what to do or where to go. Number two, people are willing to fall in line for more than an hour for food. If you don't have the luxury of time and you want to try something else, don't be scared of trying the local restaurants here because most of the time, they're still good. And the most important part is it will save you time. And who knows, you might discover a hidden gem. And the last realization that I have that is every place here has a different vibe or a different character. For example, Omotesando is more of a high classy girl walking around the street while Harajuku is a young fashionista that is more inclined to streetwear. And of course, Shibuya is a very chaotic person while Shinjuku is a chaotic yet organized person. If you're a sneaker head and you are here in Tokyo, Japan, you must visit Harajuku because left to right, head to head, there are tons of shoe stores here, sneaker stores. For example, this one, this is Atmos. And then right after Atmos, you have Adidas. By the way, in our country, we also have Atmos in Philippines, but it's in DGZ, I think. I haven't checked it. It is known for selling sneakers at retail price. One more thing I like here is that it's not just about sneakers. There's food, clothing, vintage clothing. They have it all in here. And the best thing here in Harajuku is you will have a glimpse of the fashion sense here in Tokyo. There are also hardcore stores like this where you have to go down and you have an idea what they are selling here. This is so cool, man. They even have Steve Aoki. So we ended up seeing this stationary shop and I saw here. These are Posca pens and they are very useful and very good in quality. We were able to buy four Posca pens for only 880 yen. <laughs> I saw this before. Pulan mo, magdana to. Sakay waffle to. Hunting stores here in Harajuku is a gem experience. Because for example, this one as you can see, you have to go to this staircase. And the one that we checked a while ago is called Basement and you really have to go to literally to the basement. I guess it's true that sizes here in Japan are a bit challenging. Me, my sister, and my mom found a good shoe for each and every one of us. But unfortunately, sizes are not always available. Exhibit A. No size again. <laughs> if you are into sneaker hunting while you are here in Japan, yes, Harajuku is well recommended. Actually, I saw several YouTubers like Carlo Ople and even Seth Fowler. Both of them went to Harajuku for sneaker hunting. And I kid you not, this place is not going to disappoint you. But just like what I've said a while ago, sizes are a bit challenging. Most of the sizes here are playing around size 8 and size 9. So I'm just managing your expectations while you are shopping here at Harajuku. Thrift store or second-hand stores are common here in Japan. And one of the most popular second-hand store here in Japan would be this one, Second Street. It is my first time to be here in a Second Street store. And look at this, Supreme, 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 Supreme. By the way, it's around 50,000 yen. Another Supreme, Supreme. They even have shoes here. For example, this one, look at this Jordan one at 49,000, so 50,000 pesos. Oh, 50,000 yen. 50,000 yen. Just to remind you guys, everything that you will see here are second hand. So, this is going to be our last stop for the day, undefeated. 
So we were able to buy some stuff from Undefeated and now we have to blitz going back to our hotel and then we are going to run to the airport and hopefully will not be left by our plane or by our schedule. So let's go! We made it on time here at Narita Airport. And that was a crazy week with my family here in Tokyo. So on our way from Asakusa going to Narita Airport, there's a story that I want to share. And there's something that I realized with what transpired there. So what happened when we were on our way here uh, and we were riding a train. So there's this girl who looks very tired. Like seriously, she's really, really tired. And her eyes are starting to fall down and as if she's about to fall asleep. As you guys know, here in Japan, the main mode of transportation is train, right? So you should expect that the volume of people is a bit high. So this girl that looks very tired fell asleep and she hit her head on the wall or somewhere on the edge and unfortunately he kind of bled somewhere here but of course since you're in japan i know the story is very unfortunate people are very helpful and the crew of the train are very attentive so they provided aid right away i seriously hope that that person is okay right now and she was able to make it here at narita airport anyway the realization that i have from what happened is that if you guys are planning to travel make sure that you have the right amount of rest and sleep sleep is as much as important as the fun that you're going to have while you're traveling because you need a lot of energy especially when you're here in japan the last thing that you want is to have medical needs or probably collapse in a foreign country that's not very good especially if you're traveling because the main reason why you're here is to have fun overall how's your tokyo trip it's good it was really fun i had a lot of fun i wish to return in the near future. <laughs> but sadly, she was sick for a few days. Uh, half, of the trip. half of the trip, she was resting, unfortunately. What can you say about your Tokyo trip? Uh, it was nice and I want to go back and spend maybe 15 days. But make sure you only have the right amount of package going back to Philippines. Right now, I know that Yen is not performing well in terms of its value. And some of us might think that it is a good time for us to go and visit Japan, which is true because it's easier for you to have a better value when you're exchanging US dollars to Yen. But one more thing that I realized is that things are still expensive here in Tokyo, Japan. But that's okay because everything is worth it. For example, me, I only bought Posca pens, t-shirts from Undefeated, some merch, gifts for people that I know, some toys. But still, my budget was exhausted. I was not even able to buy shoes, which is my original target. Now I'm thinking about it, I guess my cash was exhausted with food and transportation. Food, I have no complaint because quality. But you have to be prepared with the cost of transportation. I guess that's a normal thing here because their transportation system is very good. So, you know, it's worth it. Overall, I would say that Japan is an expensive tourist country, but you'll definitely enjoy it. And if you are able to do it, guys, you should go for it. That concludes our Tokyo travel episodes, guys. Thank you so much for watching and keeping up with us during our Tokyo travel. And if you have any questions, please don't shy away and ask me on the comment section. I would love to answer all of those things. And don't forget to subscribe in our channel because that will help me moving forward with creating new contents and I hope you liked it. I am grateful for the time that you've spent watching all of these episodes. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that will really help me moving forward with all of the contents that we are going to put here in our channel. Hopefully, I'll see you again next week for another episode. Mad Corner, I'm out. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone.